I'm alert tonight after recent cases of police impersonators. Austin police are looking for a person who stole a police officer's truck and made off with not one, but two police badges. Now, this truck was stolen from the Craig Softball Complex on Pleasant Valley Road in southeast Austin and was found about two miles away on South Lakeshore Boulevard about an hour later. All new at 5, Carla Castaño has the story. When he got back to where the truck had been parked, he found out that it was gone. Police are trying to get the message out to hide your things, lock your car, and take your keys because some 200 cars are broken into or stolen in Austin each day. They forced entry, broke in through the door, and then uh, they defeated the steering column and started the truck. Monday night, an off-duty officer attending a softball game left two police badges and a shotgun in his truck. The gun was still in the truck when officers found it, but the badges were gone. He did have two badges that were issued to him. One was from when he was a former Austin Park police officer, and then one badge, uh, one of our current APD uh, officer badges. After recent police impersonation cases... I wasn't sure if it was an officer or not because they are driving a bunch of different vehicles now. There is now some concern about why the truck thief would want the badges. Officers say when it comes to police impersonators, trust your instincts if something doesn't seem right. All Austin police officers have their identification uh, cards with them, as well as, you know, if we're in uniform, obviously you'll see the uniform, you'll see a marked police car. If they don't have that stuff, you can call 911 and request verification on who it is. In Southeast Austin, Carla Castaño, KXAN, Austin News.